How does the journey to success start? Most people have this misconception about the path towards success, right? Most people think that, let's say if you want to get from point A, that's your goal, right? Point A, to point B. They believe, most people, including me, I saw that success, it takes a, a straight path towards from point A and to point B. And you have to really find out uh, what is your point B? First understand where you want to get and find out the, the, clo the shortest route towards success. But my realization within last week, within the last 10 days was that it's almost never the same case. It's not that case at all if you want to be successful. Now, uh, my personal um, goal was to, uh, my goal, my, my dream is to share my, uh, my ideas, my thoughts all around the world and be famous on YouTube, be able to impact people's life, uh, coach people on personal development, on achieving their dreams, their career aspirations, or just teach people how to become successful in life. And for that, I personally needed to become successful my, myself in personal development, in teaching, and in being able to share my thoughts, ideas uh, to various people in all parts of the world, right? That was my goal. But in order to get from point A to point B, which is my goal, which is being able to coach hundreds of people all around the world about personal development, about public speaking, about my skills and experiences, to the point B. And uh, I thought to myself, what is preventing me most? What is preventing me on becoming this person that I want to become, this guru, this personal development mentor uh, that has like influence that has like that can share his voice and it, his voice is heard all, all around the world it has the ability to impact people's lives to change their lives in a better way and my understanding was that okay i'm doing youtube videos right but i'm not posting them consistently i'm not sharing videos consistently i'm not out there consistently and, and i'm not creating content as much as i want to do and there's i understood that my biggest fear for that moment is because I'm scared of being judged by other people what I do. Now, obviously, I'm a pretty confident guy. I can share my message to many people all around the world, and I'm not afraid of putting videos on YouTube, and so on, and so on, and so on. But my biggest fear was that I wasn't posting consistently. I was trying to make my videos perfect. And when it's not perfect, I was like filming again and again and again, uh, going after perfection, and I never attained perfection, in fact. And uh, I joined this group of people on Facebook, uh, Business Accelerator Network by London Real, uh, by Brian Rose. And he started this challenge of 10 videos in 10 days in a row. And he said, if you want to go towards your goal, if you want to share postings on YouTube and like create an online business, right? And my goal is that create an online business, an online platform where I can uh, coach hundreds of students at one time or tens of students at one time and uh, hold my own first webinar session, let's say webinar coaching session and uh, find my niche, find my voice on uh, online platform. That was my goal. And the biggest uh, fear that I had that was preventing my, me getting towards that point is I wasn't sharing as much as I should. And uh, the reason for that was I was scared of being judged by other people. Now, I, I got motivated by them. I started, I joined their challenge of 10 videos in 10 days. And my understandings, my revelations, about my journey was crazy. Now let's say this is point A, this is my starting point here, and I wanted to get here to the point B, right? Now I, I wanna share what I experienced every day during that challenge, and I believe no matter what goal you put towards yourself, at some point you're going to go through all this level, all the stages of difficulties that you have to push through in order to get to point B. And guess what, I'm on day five, on day six right now, and I already managed to get to point B. I mean, that's not my end goal. I'm obviously not a celebrity on YouTube. I'm not that famous. And I do have like some setbacks, but I'm working on them. But I did my first online webinar and I could teach. Uh, I had like over 10 students on the live stream and joining me, interacting with me. And I had like 50 people join to that webinar. Now what I did, what I experienced, I'm going to share with you right now. So on day one, 
I, I, I got this motivation. I was inspired so much. I'm going to do it. I found my fire inside me that this is what I want to do. And I'm going to go and keep on posting videos every single day. And I'm going to get become better at it. I'm going to kill that fear. Now, day one, I managed to do that. I get here to point B. Now, I realize that you don't need to be perfect in order to be able to film videos, uh, right? And you can just take your phone and film it, create the content. Uh, content and share your voice. You don't need to do it perfect. I was like, and I shared it. I wasn't scared anymore. I did that. And I, uh, I managed to do it on the day one. But day two was the second day of that challenge. Now, the first step is you find your voice. The moment you find your voice, you find that fire inside you, what you really want to do, you have to take action immediately. That was my understanding on day one. If you don't take action immediately, you say, I'm going to do it next week. Uh, let's say next month, uh, you're going to fail. Found your, find your fire, and once you found it, just take action. I did that, that was like crazy. I felt so complete. On day two, however, I had the second stage of child challenge, which was I came back from work, from my nine to five work, super late home. Uh, it was 11 p.m. I came home. I had one hour to film that video on the day two. But, but, it, but because I had this motivation, the fire inside me, it kept going, and even though I was tired, I decided to do the video. Uh, and I, I was here on the day one. I was motivated. I had time on day two. Uh, I was tired. I came home late, but I realized that if I don't push through this, even though I'm tired, if I don't commit to my goals, if I don't like, let's say I have the promise, if I don't keep my promise, uh, I will hate myself for the rest of my life. I pushed through it. And I was here already, like on day two, I managed to do that. Day two was great. I was happy that I did that. And I took extra mile. I started a live stream. I was like sharing my thoughts and ideas. It felt perfect. On day three, however, it was the hardest day possible of that challenge. Now day three, a crazy thing happened to me. I lost my motivation. I didn't feel like filming videos. I didn't feel like sharing with people. I didn't even understand why am I doing this if no one is going to listen to it no one is going to be motivated by it and i saw like oh i'm not i'm not going to be able to change people's lives i'm not going to be able to become that personal development mentor that everyone is listening to everyone wants to hear and uh is able to in fact influence people's life but i lost my motivation but i decided you know what i gave a promise i'm going to be committed to this promise i'm going to do it even though i'm not motivated now my biggest understanding was on day three on the third stage of those challenge is that anything you do like you study you prepare for university you want to get your dream job or anything in life you, you want to become a millionaire you're going to find a stage in your life where you will feel that you're not motivated you don't really want to do that stuff like you're tired you don't want to do it you know you, you lose your fire you lose your motivation if you push through that day the moment I put the camera in front of me, I started, I opened the live stream, I started speaking, I opened the camera video, started filming myself. I regained that fire, that passion that, oh my God, I finally managed to do it. I stayed consistent to my goals again. And the biggest challenge is when you lose motivation. The biggest difference between losers and winners, be between successful people and non-successful people, is not that successful people have motivation, non-successful people don't. It's the fact that Successful people do what they have to do to go towards their goals even though they're not motivated, when they're not motivated, when they're tired, when they don't feel like doing it, when, the, when they lose your fire. Anything you do, you're going to have a period where you're going to lose your fire. On day three, I managed to go through that and I was the happiest person of my life. And what happened? Day four happened. Now, this is the default state. As you see on day two and three, I was on this point and I came back. This is day one, day two, and day three. I was here. I was already up. And it was like way below here. So you see that default state. And this is like, you go below your default state when you have challenges. But the crazy thing is you have to push through it. This is not a straight line. This is like a zigzag, you see. On day four, what happened to me is that now, now that I pushed through not being motivated, I had clearer mind. I had clear understanding what I want to do. And uh, actually, uh, I, I was following this business accelerator workshop of Brian Rose on internet, and it was very helpful. He, he, he was sharing his ideas, and I just, let's say, used it to my own soul, to my own mind. He made these three circles. The first, uh, if you want to create an online business, that was his idea. You have to put first, make three circles. You have to put your passion, 
like if you want to make an online business and make money out of that he said first find your passion my passion in this case was uh, teaching people personal development coaching and mentoring people that was like teaching involved there and what is your talent what are you good at what things are you doing best and what things can you teach other people right and that was public speaking and that was like te uh, teaching english i used to teach english for 10 years and international relations politics and etc so it was more like related to teaching as well and the show is one of the most important things what your com community needs most from you but i always thought about my passions and my talents i never really thought about what my community needs most right what is the market demand obviously there is a, a demand of someone guiding young people students people uh, showing their career paths, helping them find their inner fire, find their inner voice, and just letting them know that you can do whatever you want. You can be successful in what you want to do, right? Uh, but in this sense, I said, uh, he, he's basically what he says is like, you have to find this middle circle where your passion meets talent and that meets market demand. And that's your niche. You have to follow that niche, right? And my passion, like that's my biggest goal and th that's the main reason why I'm doing it. It's because I want to be that, let's say, personal development guy, that the guy that is able to impact people's life. And my personal belief is that I can impact change lives if I teach them, let's say, how to become successful, how to find your voice, how to find your career. That's, that's what I see my future on, right? Become that guru who's helping people. Uh, but the market demand was like, okay, I knew that I'm really good at teaching English. How about I create an online platform first and create my first coaching session, not on personal development, but on teaching them English because that's what they need most. And what I did was, um, okay. and what I did was, um, I, I started this, uh, I shared this on Facebook that um, I created a group on Facebook, a closed group where I said, I'm going to teach you online uh, English and wh where you'll be able to get from point zero to very advanced level, from beginner to advanced level. I'm going to teach you that. I'm going to start my live classes. I put a deadline to it on Saturday and, uh, and I'm, I'm just going to start it. I'm going to make a, a coaching class of teaching English to young people, to students who really want to become good at English, right? And I shared that on Facebook. I said, this is crazy, but I'm going to do that. Within just two days, I had 30 people enrolled to my online webinar, my online coaching class. That was something unbelievable that I could coach people over internet, online, and teach them, share my knowledge, my experience, and give as much as value as I can. Now, let's go back to the slide here, which is the journey to success. Now, my initial goal is impact people's life, help them, help them improve, become better at something, like become that coach, right? And, and do that through online, create an online platform of that. And creating online platform was very scary for me because I was in fact afraid of being judged and therefore I was in fa uh, afraid of, you know, putting myself out there so that everyone can see in the world. What would they see? thing but day four was really good because i wasn't on the zero point anymore i was on like a level above my starting point and i'll have clearer thoughts that okay this is what i want to do because this is going to show me the whole picture of my later on personal development journey where i will be able to know how am i going to create an online platform how i will be able to coach number of people in a closed group in a webinar and etc and on Saturday, it was crazy, but I, I had this opportunity to coach people. That was my deadline, but I didn't know how am I going to do it. I didn't have the necessary technology because all I knew is you put your camera on and you speak in front of camera. That was what my comfort zone was back then, but I never had a coaching class. What am I going to teach them on the first lesson? That was my biggest. And how am I going to interact with them, right? Because students are there and you are here and I didn't want it to be one word. I realized that Facebook had this uh, function where you can add people to your conversation. I said to your live stream, I said this is a great opportunity because I can in fact add my students to my live coaching call here and in fact in, be able to interact with them face to face. Guess what crazy thing happened while I was talking, uh, live stream stopped because the uh, memory card of my other phone has 
uh, like it was like ex it was over the memory card didn't have enough space so I'm gonna continue this right so I, I understood that I was doing like webinar uh, I didn't know how to do it that was my goal and I decided that okay uh, I knew that uh, Facebook had this option where you could add people add people to your live stream uh, and you could in fact be able to talk to them one-on-one -on -one, like interview mode of Facebook live and I decided I'm going to use that in my webinar and guess what happened that webinar turned out to be the most successful thing ever in my community in my country I'm from Azerbaijan uh, in my community uh, most successful live English teaching class ever it was first ever that first people did and it exploded everyone started sharing it students really liked it because I had face-to-face -face interaction uh, and they were really pumped up on continuing this journey of learning English from me and that was like the greatest success I ever had and like after that after right after the webinar people started sharing it now I have like over 50 students enrolled to my classes of teaching English some even offer pay money to pay money for that but I decided to do it for free because my goal is to provide as much as value as I can uh, to my community and just to learn the track uh, the, the track of building an online presence, building an online platform of me sharing my experience, my thoughts and teaching people, right? This was a crazy goal and uh, a crazy journey of day five and I could achieve the point B. Now, as you see, the, the, the journey from point A to point B was not a straight line. It was a zigzag, ups and downs, ups and downs. And I realized one thing to sum up everything was that my realization, my biggest realization was that first day, first what you have to do is find your fire and immediately if you find your fire, take action. You take action, you're going to have challenges. You're going to go below the point A. I was very tired on day two, but I decided to push through no matter what, right? And I pushed through it. Day three, the third state of, stage of like going towards your goal, and this video could be named five stages of success, of being successful the third day was that i lost my motivation the third third stage was that i lost my motivation i didn't really want to do it it was like all the way here like way below the point a because i didn't even like find the thing on that day that it's meaningful to continue this journey but i decided to stay committed because i promised myself i'm gonna do 10 videos in 10 days and go towards my goal for 10 days and i pushed through it immediately I was one step closer to my goal. I found my fire again because I did it. That was the hardest day ever. And I had clear thoughts. I knew exactly what I had to do. I had to take another step, another challenge to become closer. And I realized that I have a niche. I have something that I could offer. That moment, my market needed, the community I needed, needed most, someone to teach them English. They wanted to become better at English and nobody has offered online English teaching the way that I did, being able to face-to-face -face interact via Facebook Live where you can add students and in fact have a board like this and teach them talking to you from their homes. They didn't need to come to your office or whatever. And I, I didn't know how to do it. I learned the way to do it. I, put, I set a strict deadline and I shared it. I shared it, people joined it and I did the first webinar. It was a massive success. Now, I think this is something universal, like anything you do in life, you're going to go through this five stages of journey to success. So yeah, this is it. I hope you like this video. I'm going to stay more committed to my filming, to my video journey, and I'm going to share out my voice more often from now on. And this is obviously my journey from day one to day five. And I have five more days to go. This is day six, actually. Uh, and I'm probably going to share this video as well because it's day six. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and share if you really like the video. And share with me your advice. Maybe you, you're dealing with your journey to success with some other way. What do you think? What is the best way to go towards your goals and to never give up? Thank you so much and hope to talk to you soon. Bye. I wasn't sure if I could go live on this or not, but this is actually very exciting for me. 
very challenging. I want to declare that I accept Brian Royce's challenge of 10 videos in 10 days. And oh my God, this is crazy. You know, this fear of being judged by other people is like slowing down the progress so much. It like, it hurts my growth more than anything else. You know, if I was brave enough, if I was more confident enough, I would have made videos, made, made live streams every day, posted on my Facebook, posted on different channels. And this fear of being judged by other people is like stopping my progress because imagine like if I didn't have that fear, I would have like gone, I don't know, like, crazy i would have like i'm i'm trying to be perfect in every each and one of my videos and even though at the end they're not that perfect i'm trying to do something good something fancy in order to be able to post it but um i i realize that perfection is like enemy of the growth and that fear of being judged by others just stop giving a fuck whatever that other people think about you so if you don't challenge yourself you don't grow i i challenge everyone here to join brian rose's 10 videos in 10 days challenge and i promise i'm going to film 10 videos in 10 days 10 days in a row and post it here in different topics or whatever comes up to my mind at that night and thank you brian rose for creating this opportunity uh, you've done a lot and i'm going to follow your advice and challenge myself and hopefully after this, I will be able to post 10 videos in 10 days on uh, YouTube, Facebook, or whatever, like the, the, the person, the professional channels that, that I have. Thank you. Uh, see you guys. Uh, bye. It is currently 11 a.m. and I'm just getting back home from work. Imagine how tired I may feel. But you know what's better than anything? What's better than... Uh, what helps you grow? As Gary Vee said, uh, you got two hours left from your 95 job or whatever, or even longer like I've been working for like over 10 hours now. You got a few more minutes, like maybe an hour before I go to bed to prepare to wake up in the morning. I will keep my promises. I promised Brian Rose, I promised guys that I'm going to film 10 videos in 10 days and post it on Facebook and I'm doing it and I'm I'm gonna do that so I realized dedication is the key to growth and keeping your promises if you set a goal that you're going to improve in something that you're going to you know become better at it or like overcome certain fears in my sense it was the fear of being judged I decided I'm not, I don't care, it's not the best place, you know, it's the elevators, I'm in the elevator right now, uh, I haven't arrived home, but you know what, I'm going to keep my promise, I'm going to do what I have to do to grow and to become better at what I'm doing, so I am almost home, but yeah, keep your promises, keep your promises and be dedicated to your goals. Do what you have to do in order to achieve this. I'm never going to give up on my dreams. I'm going to work hard, even though I have one hour left. I'm going to kill it today. Keep my promise. And this is vlog number two. And another promise is vlog number three is going to be much better. But I thought it's worth noting this moment that you have to hustle no matter what. Even though you're not ready, you're tired, you're just back home. Just keep hustling. So thank you guys. And... Catch you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, this is Javid from Day 3 and Vlog 3. So, um, I wanna, what I want to talk about today is decisive, decisiveness. Now, I came back from work and I had to deal with several stuff. I had the chance to get home today. But today was a different challenge than it was yesterday. Now, yesterday, even though it was very late, even though a, uh, I came home very late, I had one hour left to do the daily vlog challenge. But I decided uh, while I was at work that no matter how much I work, I will be filming today. I will be doing my next video, right? Uh, but today, uh, the difference between the challenges were like day two, day three was that in day two, 
even though I was tired, I was um, how to say I didn't feel good and it was very late. I had this deep fire, the inner fire, the desire to do something, right? The third day, however, my challenge is a little bit different. Today, I did not really feel like filming until the moment I stood in front of the camera, right? So, uh, on my way back home from doing my personal things, uh, I was like, oh my god, how am I going to film today? I don't really feel like it. I don't feel motivated. What kind of uh, impact will I have if I don't feel what I'm about to say, right? You know, if I don't feel like this guru, this personal development guy. So I decided, uh, I came home, I had a little bit fight with my girlfriend, and I, I decided, I was like mad as well, so not the best inner state that you could think. Uh, but I said, okay, I just, I'm, like the, the importance of decisiveness is that you gave yourself a promise. You, you decided you're going to film, you decided you're going to do it. Just no matter what, how good, how bad it is, get in front of the camera, get on the stage and do your filming, uh, do your video, right? Uh, and then the moment I stood here, I filmed it, I, you suddenly like get out of your imaginary world, imaginary shelter, and you're, I mean, I wasn't really feeling it. I was like a bit down, like I could even say a bit depressed or maybe like too tired, not even depressed. The moment I got in front of the camera, I realized I really want to talk A and I have a message to share. So uh, I think most of you will, will, would face the same challenge. So day one is easy. You're happy. You're motivated to do it. Day two, you may have like obstacles, but you're still motivated. You have this inner fire to do things. Day three was most challenging for me. Is I mean, not anymore. It was most challenging for me because I didn't feel like doing I didn't feel like I had this fire inside me. I didn't have, I feel like I had this message inside me. And I believe in anything you do, there's, when, when you first started, you have this deep motivation, right? All, along the way, you have problems, but you're still pushing through. And on the midway, it's the time when you're not motivated to do things, when you don't really want to do things, but no matter what you decide, you're going to do it, right? It's like you're pushing through, not wanting to do it. So anyone can study hard or anyone can uh, work on himself when they're motivated, when they're willing to do. Anyone can work on their goals when they're willing to do, but it takes courage, it takes decision, uh, and it takes dedication to work on your goals, to work on yourself when you are not motivated, when you are not willing to do. Because, you know, life is like, we have ups and downs in life. Uh, you, you are not going to always feel perfect. You are not always going to feel motivated. You're not always going to be in this higher state of mind, in this, you know, you're not always going to be happy, let's say. There are going to be ups and downs, and downs are really important because if you have downs, if you feel down, this means that tomorrow you have an opportunity to feel even better, right? Because you can't always go like boom, 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 high. You have to, life is like, you know, how they call it in forex, you know, like ups and downs, ups and downs. You will never have only ups. You won't go up always. You'll have to go down. Now, I think the biggest progress happens on the moment when you go down, you still decide to go up, right? You're still doing your shit, you know? You have this pass from point A to point B. Point A is you, point B is your goals. And from point, if you want to get from point to, from A to B, you cannot miss the downs, you like your emotional down levels. If you feel down, still continue the journey of going towards your goal. If you don't feel like doing things, still do it, because it's like 50-50, you know, half of our times, we're not in our best states. We're not in like higher state of mode. And if you can push through, if you can work, even when you feel down, if you, even when you don't feel down, I think, it would change your default state. Your default state will increase. Like, let's say default state. I don't want to film default state. It's like, oh, what are people going to think? Now, me, by filming, when I don't feel like filming, I've, I think I've shifted something in my mind, right? Next time, I will have this track record that, okay, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel motivated, but I still filmed. And it was pretty good. It was pretty nice. 
So that's my message for today. Even if you don't feel like doing it, push through that and work when you don't feel like working, when you're not happy, when, when you're not like motivated. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you on day four. Yo, what's up, what's up? This is Javid on day four. And what I want to talk about today, that beautiful feeling after two days of hustle and hard work, right? Now today, in fact, I came back from home a little early and it's like super inspiring. Let me recap the four days before I go into the fifth day. The first day was really motivating and happy, inspiring, you know, really wanted to work on myself and improve my, let's say, filming abilities, be more confident in front of the camera and present my ideas, right? So it went really good, posted the video, I started challenging myself 10 days, 10 videos in a row and it, it was really good. It, was, it felt amazing right after challenging myself because I had the main fear, right? I was struggling with, um, with the fear of other people judging me, right? And then I got over that feeling, it felt amazing, it felt really good. Now day number two had another challenge for me. On that day, I had to finish my work very late, like one hour left for the next day. I came home super tired, worked over 12 hours, and I said, I'm gonna stay committed. And the lesson that day I learned that you have to be committed to your goals no matter what. Did that, smashed it, felt really good. Next day, went to work. And it's the day three, I felt very unmotivated. I was not motivated. It was like the hardest one. So the second one, you push through the pain because you are motivated. On the third day, a new challenge, you losing motivation. That's like, and I compare that in my head that that happens in almost everything in life you do. You start a business, first you're very happy, very motivated, second, Challenges come present themselves, but because you're motivated, you go push through those challenges. And the third, the final stage, I would say, the hardest stage is you losing motivation. Now, what determines successful people from not successful people is the successful people are willing to work hard and put the same effort even when they're not motivated, even when they're not willing to do that, right? And then I said, okay, this is the determining factor of me being su successful or not. It's the day three. I have to, even though I'm not motivated, stand in front of the camera and film a not motivated video. Now, guess what happened? The moment I stood in front of the camera, I, I regained my motivation, right? And then getting that done was amazing. Now, day four, today is day four. My feelings are, in fact, during the day, I had clear thoughts of what I want to do regarding my business and what I want to do re regarding my career, like regarding this filming thing, right? I, I should have a goal, a business plan, as Brian Rose says. And I had clear thoughts. I was like determining his structure, you know, what is your passion? My passion is teaching people, helping people, personal development, helping others go towards their goals, achieve their dreams, right? That's my passion. What am I good at? I'm good at talking to people, understanding people. I'm good at public speaking. And uh, what is, and then his third thing was, is that the third thing should be that, how can you help people how, uh, with, with your current skills, with your talents and passion, what, what your society, what the community you're living in needs most right and then when i looked back okay i love doing personal development right i'm currently coaching two people and they love it and i'm like super inspired by that but on top of that my community needs most me teaching them english because a lot of people want me to teach them english to help improve their english i live in azerbaijan now obviously a lot of people speak english but as many people are looking for someone to teach them english and I, I decided, okay, I put my coaching business together with helping people improve their English, right? It's, it's like a simple business idea. You can create a Facebook group and, you know, add people there or just post like two, night, two days ago, I posted 
that I'm starting a Facebook group where I'm going to once a week teach people how to improve their English, right? Teach them English on that group. And right away, 200 people liked, commented, and etc. And now I have about like 50 people that joined the group that are willing to dedicate and um, willing to spend their time and learn English. Now, that's like a simple business idea. I can easily turn it to business, you know, charge them monthly based certain amount of money and get money out of that. But my goal is to go all through that process. And that's, I can give value with that. Why not? I started it for free. First month this is going to be free. I'm going to help people with that. Uh, but if I learn the process of, you know, you have a passion, turning your passion and talent into a business and then helping people via that and making money as well because you need money to provide better service, right? So that was my understanding uh, and I decided to do that. Day four is more clear thoughts in my head. Now, I believe if you keep on doing something for that long, it's not about day four, day five, day three, but these are the cycles that we're going through with anything in life. Anything we do in love, in life, we go through these cycles. And this is kind of my cycle that I'm sharing with you. Day one, two, three, and four. Fourth day is amazing so far. And I look forward to new revelations in day five. And thank you so much watching for watching and see you on day five. Cheers. It's Javid again and it's day 5 of 10 day video challenge and vlog 5. What I want to talk about today uh, is in fact my experiences that I had in 5 days. And I've, I've been like trying to recap all the 5 days that I've experienced and, I'm, and I've lived through like crazy stuff in these 5 days. And I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen in the next 5 days because every passing day I feel like I'm improving, I'm becoming better and I'm taking action towards my goals, right? First day, it was inspiring, I did it really good, I made it happen and it was because I was motivated. Second day, I was tired, I pushed through because I still was motivated. Third day, I wasn't motivated and I pushed through that, I managed to do it. Day 4. Day four was, uh, I don't really remem remember uh, right now what was day four, but it, has its, it had its own challenge. Maybe it was time-wise or didn't know what to talk about, but I still managed to do it. On day five, I had a goal. Uh, I was following Brian Ross's advice to think about your talent, your passion, and the market needs. And I found that that market needs most, me teaching, uh, my, my local community needs most, me teaching them English, right? And I decided to create a group, a closed group, uh, and invite, I mean, share those posts, do a little bit of social media marketing about me teaching English for free uh, via face, close Facebook group, via live streams, and invite people in. Guess what happened? I, I put a time, like a deadline, that I'm going to have my first webinar, live webinar, on Saturday, this morning at 12 p.m. And I didn't know how I'm going to rule that webinar, right? I just had an idea that I'm going to teach English. I knew what I was going to teach because I've been teaching English for like eight years. And I, even though it wasn't my main job, but I was making extra money from that. And I decided to start my uh, first live group English coaching session through that book. Immediately, the reaction was crazy. About 30 people enrolled to that group, right? And some of them would even pay money to get into that group. Uh, but I didn't ask for money, it was for free. And I'm planning to do it for free for a limited period of time, or like at least I get a result from several people. And I started my first webinar without knowing how coaches teach webinar, right? I've never coached via webinar or group coaching. I, well, all I did was individual coaching. I knew that, but I didn't know how to do it in a group. And what kind of technology is, av is available for doing that? And I, I knew several functions of Facebook. I did a little research the night before. I knew that doing live stream on Facebook, on Apple, you can get invite people to the live stream, right? And I said, okay, I'm going to teach them for 20 minutes, explain the grammar, the rules, and then invite the students who are on live stream to the, uh, to the like, live stream and then start teaching them individually. And while teaching one person, the rest would learn several things that they would do mistakes. 
The live stream happened in the morning, even though I didn't promote it that it's going to happen at 12, I, I wrote it like one night before. Uh, about like 8 to 10 people attended the live stream and I was personally coaching 4 people because I invited 4 different students to the live stream. Several made it, several didn't make, make it. And there were some tech challenges to it, but overall people really loved it and they were very thankful. And I, I felt to myself that I provided value, I managed to provide value to my community. And my goal right now is to do at least once a week live streams and to you know, improve my teaching abilities via live stream, uh, via Facebook Live and make group coaching and try to get results. At least several students there could get like, let's say I started beginner level teaching from, uh, let's say they would get from beginner to intermediate level. Once I do that, um, my plan is to maybe create an online platform or like make it, mm, make charge some students money for online coaching and see how it goes. You know, it was a crazy opportunity. Like before that, I would say months ago, I, I didn't even imagine how I could make money online, how I could, uh, you know, coach people and get money from that in no ways. Now it, it's more clear in my head that, okay, I, I have something that I can provide value. And people need most is English. Uh, like that's like market demand, even though that's not really like what I'm passionate about, but that's exactly what I'm telling to them. I could, I can do that. I can do that better than most of people. And though it's not really my passion and my passion is teaching personal development, but I need, let's say a, a track record of success. I need to learn and it's easy to learn from teaching English to learn what to do, how to do and when to start it. Right. Once I get past that, past that I can implement all my knowledge, my skills, and even I'll make some money to my passion, which is personal development, coaching and career coaching people, you know, teaching them how to set goals and achieve them. But before that, I have to be able to set my goals and achieve that, right? How am I going to teach people, right, to set their goals, to achieve their dreams, if I don't set my goals, don't follow my goals and don't achieve them, right? That's why my main goal right now is to be dedicated to my promises, let's say, never betray my friends, which are my goals right now, and do all I can to get towards my goals. And these five days have changed my life massively. I, I This like small track records of like last minute videos that I'm doing one right now is like five minutes to 12. I still have five minutes to finish this day. And I decided to make this video, not to be lazy, not to procrastinate and go for it. So I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of what I've done. I'm proud of all of you who have been committed to this 10 day video challenge. And I imagine once we finish, we get the 10 days done, we'll become different people because it's a commitment. Every challenge you go through, you become a better version of yourself, a better person. So thank you all. And thank you for this opportunity and talk to you soon. Peace. Bye.